what we have is in this video I'm at a friend's house on a lake and they have serious wood check problem they've got I'm just gonna try to keep things out of view so protect their identity so they have a little garden over here around the deck vegetables beets and all that stuff and the woodchucks have been just going crazy on me. I've seen three of them. Uh, adult and a couple of small kits. So, figured where they were at and talked to one of the relatives. And they said he's seen them going right down to the corner of the, the deck over here. Just like last year where I pulled one out. A young one. So, I figured out oh, they're probably using the same den. Sure enough, they are. Underneath the deck. I have a sloping neighbor's yard. It was... They were using the same den, which I did not fill in. Coming up underneath, the, down here, down through all this wash under the deck. You can see right there in the sand where they've been sitting and debating about when they're gonna attack the garden. And the hole is right down here by this wall of cinder blocks from the neighbor's yard along the fence. Same place as last year. So then what I did, cut the brush back, and I got a level, leveled it out, and one of the cages has a diversion gate that I installed to divert the animal into the cage. And those are over there, we're going to go get those and set it up. So just bear with me here, as the camera's bouncing around, I'm trying to do this one-handed. One thing that people fail to realize is when they're working with cage traps and then they leave them outside and get rusty and all that, the major important thing is trap mechanics. If you don't understand trap mechanics and you try setting the trap and there's a bent pan in there and there's a, and the trigger release is in the wrong section there where it's not connected to the open slot gate, you're not going to catch anything. Um, this, I, I don't leave my traps outside. Uh, this, is, this is my friend's trap, and I just put this thing on here because I know he's got a lot of woodchucks every year. But uh, let's get this set up. You always want a flat, flat surface as possible when working. And this is no more than just some dog crate material I used to make a diversion gate. You can switch it from one side to the other just by turning the components around and doing some wiring. Okay, let's see if I can set this with one hand here. I think I can. Open that. Push down. Yep, there we go. Trigger lock. Okay, and do the safety. Careful, lower it down. Gotta fit it right in there. Ah, shoot. Well, that's what happens when you try doing it by yourself with one hand. Now the trap is set in there, the diverting wall gate, so they can't come up out, allows this to be open. I can set this by hand this way. It's a little difficult though, but I can do it. I've done it before with other hands immobilized. Just put the phone down for a second. And 
and watch the meat come up. And you want these on hair triggers so when they go on that pan, they've got nowhere to go. So, this here, what I'm just going to do is get this block of wood, try to barricade this little opening on the top there. So they see that and they'll want to go into the cage instead. And I'll just put a brick on top, add, add in some weight, keep it ammo from rocking it, since I don't have any stakes with me at the moment. And then I'll set the secondary cage probably right down here where they're walking around and have that baited or probably actually put it up there where they're sitting. So, we can catch adults and the young'uns. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed my first animal control video. Um, like it if you like it. Don't if you don't. Everyone's different. Alright, have a good one.